Coach, early uh, go down to two nothing, and then able to get into that first intermission, all tied up. What was the, the the turning point, and then what was that it feel going into the first intermission in the locker room, being able to overcome that that fallback early on? Well, you just hit the nail on the head there. That's why I just told Chesty on that radio interview. You know, when you go in that period, um, even 2-2, you feel a lot better about your game than going down there 2-0 or 2-1. So I thought we did a lot of good things in the first period. It's just, um, again, I, I think Eric, you know, uh, settled into the game as it went on. You know, he's going to want that first one back. And then, you know, the, the second one, again, we just don't do a good enough job there. So, um, but I like the way we scored our first two goals. They were greasy. You know, Huntsville's a very good defending team. Uh, they defend the net front very well. You have to get, you have to get things to the net. You got to find ways of winning some battles against them. And they're a very battle tested team, and that's a big time strength of there. So we knew it was going to be a big heavy matchup. It's going to continue to be that way tomorrow night. Six goals, five of your players finding the back of the net tonight. What does that say about your team and, and just being able to spread the puck around? That's great. I, I love seeing you know us be able to get over three goals is huge for us. We haven't done a lot this year, but then also being able to see uh, different guys uh, scoring is always is always great. I thought our D played well tonight and facilitating some offensive side of things, which we need them to do more consistently. And uh, I thought the new guys coming into the lineup uh, played well too. Uh, it seems like your, your speed kind of frustrated their defense, especially in the second and third period, because they were chasing instead of you know staying in positions and stuff like that. Yeah. Credit your speed for doing that. Yeah, yeah. I think you know both teams are fast. You know, a lot of it depends on how teams are checking to as well. You know, sometimes there's there's ebbs and flows in a game where you know they had some really good momentum and it seemed like we were really slow and they were really fast and and then of course it looked that way other times. You know, depending on how the line changes were working out and who was kind of carrying the play at the given time. But you know what I liked was there was a couple bad shifts in the second period where they had some really good zone time on us, uh, but we did a very good job of betting not breaking. You know, they had some looks in the slot. We just got a good stick on something right at the right time and defended uh, the good ice uh, very well. Kind of let them have the outside. I thought we did a better job defending from the inside out this week. What are you going to say to the fans? It was it was very interesting to see. You know, we were just under 4,000 in attendance, but from my vantage point, it felt like we had every bit of 6,500 people in there tonight. Well, I mean, every fan we appreciate. You know, we, we obviously had a hot start to the season on home ice and we've kind of cooled off and, you know, as a group, you know, fans want to come see a winning product on the ice. You know, it's up to us to, to find that. So it's, it's good to get a win in front of the fans. And, and I know tomorrow night will probably be a big night with it being a, the St. Paddy's Day jersey and the, and the you know, pre-party and the McGuire, you know, everything that's going to be tied around to it. So, um, you know, we just got to make sure that we, we stay hungry for tomorrow night. Another one of those themes tomorrow with St. Patrick's Day, you kind of hit that, you know, what's what's the feeling like? Because I feel like the Ice Flyers do it right with, with so many of these specialty jerseys that we bring out, kind of, kind of looking ahead to tomorrow. Is there a special feel or is it just kind of business as usual? Well, I'm talking directly to the fans. Go buy yourself a replica jersey. Um, it helps pay all of our salaries. We appreciate it. Um, it's an awesome jersey, by the way. And go to your local merch person. Uh, standing up the box was another key tonight because uh, uh, they didn't score any power plays and stuff, which yeah. was good. And uh, you took advantage of, of one, and stuff, yeah. which was pretty, really good and stuff. And, how do you feel if the power play starting to come back around a little bit more? Now? Yeah, you know, again, we, we had some different personnel this week. You know, that's the, that's the, the challenging thing is, you know, last week we had a, a completely different roster, so we had to improvise on the fly. This week we actually had, you know, our new guys in, so we had two days to practice it. So, again, you've seen a little bit more cohesiveness. Um, and if we can keep our lineup intact, you know, going into the next week, typically you should see some progress um, if you're able to keep some, you know, units together. Because, again, it's a power play and penalty kill is so much about chemistry and who you're with. And, you know, if you get a chance to kind of get, you know, two, three, four weeks in a row of playing kind of with the same guys, you can usually get yourself going. What are you going to be pressing for tomorrow night as far as the same theme tonight? Keep the pressure on them. Um, make sure you stay in lanes when, when, when they're coming down and stuff. And also stay out of the boxes. Are the, are the, are the four key, three teams tomorrow night? Yeah, I mean, you know, special teams and discipline are always something. You know, we've been a pretty disciplined team the entire year. Uh, give the group a lot of credit. Uh, we haven't had many suspensions or, or, or many, you know, uh, stupid things that we've done. And so that, that starts with the leadership group. Uh, you know, Mitchie's first penalty was a retaliation penalty. It was a penalty. Uh, they missed the first one, though. Mitchie was just getting in there and backing up a, a teammate. So, you know, we got the kill for them in that. We picked them up. Uh, but for the most part, we've been a pretty disciplined team this year. We're going to have to continue to be because they do have some players that can hurt you on that power play. They had a couple good looks tonight. We're going to have to make some adjustments.